Welcome, welcome to Independence Guitar. In my last video, I went over modes in the most basic form. I showed you shapes and a warm up drill just to familiarize yourself with the modes in order. Today, I want to go a step further and I wanna go over the pattern of the modes so that you can understand how they work on the most basic level and you can build them for yourself in any key that you might be playing in. If this is your first time learning modes and you haven't seen my first video, I'm going to go ahead and link it here. If you have not already done so, please subscribe down below and check the bell for future notifications. So let's get started. So to make things easy, we are going to start in the key of C. I'm assuming that you know the basic notes on the neck. If you don't, that would be the third fret of the fifth string. That would be a C. So in the key of C major, there are eight notes. Well, seven notes and then the eighth being the octave. The same note, just an octave up. The key of C major has no sharps and flats and goes as follows. Why is this important? Because it corresponds to the way I'm going to show you how the modes work. So there are seven modes in the major scale, one for every note and then repeating again once it gets to the octave. Those modes are Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Aeolian, and Locrian. So I have went ahead and made a chart here, and we're going to go ahead and start off with Ionian, the first mode of the major scale, and that is the major scale itself. So as you can see on my chart here, and I know I probably could have did this in like a computer presentation, but this is easier and I haven't figured all that out yet, so uh, there you go. As you can see up top here, this is Ionian. The one is going to respond to your root note, C. And every letter after that is going to respond to how many frets you are going to move up. The W being a whole step and the H being a half step. A whole step being two frets and a half step being one fret. Okay, so the Ionian mode is going to go one, your root note, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. So let's translate that to the guitar. Okay, so just like on the chart, we're gonna start off in the key of C, which is the third fret of the fifth string. So you start off the one. When you go one, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. Or one, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. Okay, so we just did the Ionian mode, right? We started off on the one, we went whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. Okay, so now we're gonna move to the Dorian mode, the second mode. And this is important. This is what is going to help you figure out uh, how to do whatever mode you wanna do on any part of the neck. Okay, so the trick to this is that we are going to take the W off of the beginning, right? And we're gonna shift it over to the end and everything is going to move over one one part so we're going to start off on the one and instead of going whole step whole step half step right everything shifted over one so now we're going to do whole step half step whole step whole step whole step half step and that w moved over to the end so we just took it right off of here and moved it over to here everything just shifted over one okay so this is the dorian mode in c or c dorian so we're going to start off on the one which is c <laughs> So one, then we're gonna go whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step, and then whole step. Or one, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step. Dorian. 
Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the Phrygia mode, right? So in the Ionia mode, we started off with the one, went whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step, right? And then when we went on to the Dorian, we took that W and we shifted it over to the end. Everything moved over one, right? So now we're gonna go into the Phrygia mode and we're gonna do the same thing. Everything, we're gonna take that W off the beginning here and we're gonna shift it over to the end. So now we're gonna start off with the H, right? So here, right? So you see the pattern, right? Everything is shifting over one, right? So now we're gonna start off with the half step. We're gonna go half step, we're gonna start off the one, go half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step. Okay, so the Phrygian mode, again, we're gonna start off on the C. Right, we're gonna start off in the one. Half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step. Or one. Half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step. So now we're going to move on to the fourth mode, Lydian. In case you're not seeing the pattern yet, let's go to the graph. In the Ionian mode, the first mode, we're starting off here at the W, right? We went whole step, whole step, half step, right? And then everything shifted over one when we went to the second mode, Dorian. So instead of starting here, we're starting here. We went whole step, half step, whole step, right? In Dorian, whole step, half step, whole step, right? And now in the Phrygian mode, we started on the H, the half step, right? So half step, whole step, whole step, whole step. Half step, whole step, whole step, whole step. So now in the Lydian mode, we're starting in the fourth mode. So now we're starting here. Whole step, whole step, whole step, half step, right? See the same thing down here. Whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. Lydian, and the Lydian mode is whole step, whole step, whole step, half step whole step, whole step, half step. So I know this kind of seems like a lot of um, stuff to memorize, but all you really have to memorize is the first one, Ionian. And then every time you go up a mode, everything shifts over one. So let's go ahead and show you the Lydian mode. Okay, so again with Lydian, we're gonna start off on the one. We're gonna go one, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, Half step, Lydian, or one, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, half step. That's Lydian. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to Mixolydian. And just like all the other times, we're gonna shift everything over one. So now it's going to be whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step. So just like with the first one, we started here. Dorian, we moved to the next one. Then Phrygian, we moved to the next one. And then Lydian, we moved to the next one. And Mixolydian, we're starting here. So it's going to be whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step. Okay, so a mixolydian, we're gonna start off on the one. It's going to be one, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step. Or one, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step. Mixolydian. Okay, so let's go ahead and keep on moving along. We are going to go to Aeolian or minor, and we're going to start off on the one, and everything is going to shift over one again, right? We are on Aeolian, so we are starting here now. Aeolian is also the minor scale, so Aeolian is going to be whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step. So we're going to start off on the one, whole step, half step, Whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step. Aeolian. 
Okay, and for the final mode, it is Locrian. And so we are in the last mode, so we're gonna start off on the H, so half step, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step. Okay, so Locrian, we're gonna start off on the one. Half step, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step. So as you can see, there's a very simple pattern to memorizing the modes. Seems like it's a lot to remember, but it's really not. All you really have to remember is the one major scale, Ionian, and the steps that make up that scale. So once you remember the one, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, whole step half step, you pretty much memorized them all because you know that for every mode you go up, you are just shifting everything over one. And another simpler way to memorize that is WWH, WWWH, WWH, WWWH. Say it with me, WWH, WWWH. Simple as that. And the reason why modes are so important is because you can use them to manipulate the mood of your song. Say, let's take the key of E, right? Now, if you're writing an E major, uh, Ionian is very happy sounding. Uh, it's very um, kind of corny. It's the... Right? Let, so we can go through the modes and kind of see what, what maybe sounds a little spicier, what more fits the mood of the song you want to write. So we can go to, instead of Iona, we can move to the next one, Dorian. Okay, so maybe that's not it. So now we can move to Phrygian. Phrygian kind of sounds like exotic, almost like Middle Eastern or Egyptian. Right, and then you have uh, Lydian, which Lydian kind of sounds um, sort of like uh, ethereal. Mixolydian, which is sort of like the major scale, only it has that spicy seventh in there, that flatted seventh. <laughs> then you have Aeolian, which is the minor scale, which is kind of sad sounding. <laughs> and then you have Locrian, which is the diminished scale, which is kind of just spicy, I guess. All right. Okay, so let's say you want to write a sad song. So for that, we could, you know, pick the minor scale, which is a sadder sounding scale, which is Aeolian, right? Aeolian is minor, the relative minor. And we have our chart now, so we can extrapolate. Start on the one, and we have one, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, Whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step. Okay, so I hope I was able to explain myself all right. I hope that made sense. Um, 
If it did, let me know down in the comments. I know that seems like a lot to remember, but it's not. All you have to do is remember the first mode, the Ionian, the whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step, and you can extrapolate the rest from there. As far as remembering the names goes, the Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Aeolian, and Locrian goes, there is actually a little, uh, an not anagram, uh, you know what I mean, one of those phrases that helps you memorize uh, a set of words or another phrase, which is, I didn't pee, leave me alone. Anyway, till next time, keep it real, come back and visit. Um, yeah, have a good night. That is Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, mixed, really olive.